Hey everybody, Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development. Amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge. Do all this by hitting the subscribe button. Tonight we're going to talk about the knuckle curveball and what I like about the knuckle curveball and then also some ways to help you develop that pitch uh, as you go forward. So first, what is the knuckle curveball grip? We're going to start with the horseshoe out. We're going to place our index finger on the inseam here. We're going to take our pointer finger and drop it underneath. From the thumb's perspective, we're going to grab the seam under here, and then that's pretty much your grip. The reason I like to teach this to youth guys uh, that are able to handle the pitch up front is one, because I feel like the knuckle uh, point is an emphasis to help with the release. Because a lot of times what I get from especially the youth section, uh, when they try to throw a more traditional curveball, is it comes out flat on the arm slot. And we don't quite get as enough uh, tightness through the, the brake line and through the extension of the release point. By pointing the knuckle through it, I feel like we're getting a better example and feel for reach through the extension. So how do we train this, especially if you're just starting out, you're a guy that's wanting to learn the pitch. How do I build it? How do I get through it? Okay, so we're going to come over here. I start as simple as possible, especially with younger guys uh, from the base uh, on the knees, okay? So what we're going to do is just come into a uh, split stance here. So one thing I want to be careful of is not overloading your, um, your shin here, your knee should not be uh, protruding past your foot uh, or your toes, okay? Uh, because then all we're doing is overloading and forcing uh, too much hip load on through the finish line. What I want to do is actually get some sort of a semblance of uh, hip or leg blocking here as I get extended through the pitch. So I'd like this to be um, either a lateral or out to about a 120 from the front leg. So as we do that, you'll get your knuckle grip here. You'll start off in a squared position with your target. You'll just simply rock back into a separation with the shoulders, come out over the front side, work extension over the front leg, and try to peel back as best you can. I'll give you guys a couple examples. Rock back, separation, curve grip, separation, and through. Okay, so once I get uh, or get that feel down, I'm good with that. Uh, I'll start to build it up from a standing split stance. Again, I like a slightly open toe point. I like to feel the weight evenly distributed through my body um, in a sit position where I'm activating the glutes. Uh, from this point, I'll come into a neutral set. The neutral set, I'm going to rock forward. So all I'm doing is shifting weight. I'm not uh, dropping or hinging my weight forward. So make sure we're shifting, and then we're going to shift back into uh, quad load and uh, glute activation from the backside. Once we get off of the glute activation and, and quad load, this is going to be uh, separation into extension. We're trying to work drive up through the hip, out through the target as we throw the pitch, and back into lead leg block and extension. Simply put, extension back up, and back over and through. Okay, back into split stance, neutral set, neutral set, shift, back, up, and break. Okay, so once you have that and you feel comfortable there throwing it, what you'll do is take it back a little bit further, and then I would start it through a walkthrough process. So now we're actually going to look at it from a, a playing catch perspective. So as you go through your walkthrough approach, playing catch, uh, right step forward, left step to separation, uh, work the knuckle curve grip into your target, hold balance in standing position through the release point, uh, working through your end goal. So I'll give you an example on this, left and through. Right, left, through. Okay. Once you get it from that point and you feel good about playing catch with the pitch, now we're going to work it from a load position or a set stance position. Come back in, load in, and through. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the knuckle curveball. Uh, for more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until I shoot the next video, I'll see you later.